Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. I want to do a quick video on uh, diodes and uh, these DC locomotives that I've been buying. These DC locomotives are identical to their AC counterparts. They just run on DC and uh, they're not nearly as in demand. You can find these things for usually a third of the cost of its AC counterpart. Having said that, of course, once you get one, you've got to convert them to uh, run on AC. And in most cases, for the entry-level stuff, you can use a single diode and solder it directly to the motor, and uh, it'll run just fine. The problem with the higher-end motors, DC motors, of course, is try to use a single diode to rectify the uh, AC to DC, and they will chatter. They need a, uh, uh, a uh, better rectifier. So I just wanted to show you a really simple and easy way to make a full wave bridge rectifier using simple single diodes. Now these are 50 volt one amp diodes and uh, these are more than sufficient for running a CAN motor. But uh, you can use larger diodes of course. I got these as the ones that uh, I keep in my uh, repair kit and uh, they're 99 cents for 10 of them so they're really really inexpensive free shipping as well so uh, a buck you know 10 cents a piece really hard to beat that anyway and a really simple way to make a full wave bridge rectifier is you notice these diodes have a silver stripe at one end these are semiconductors and uh, a semiconductor of course only passes electricity in one direction it won't pass electricity in the other direction. So that's why these will rectify AC to DC. It basically just chops off the uh, negative uh, uh, wave of the AC, turns it into pulsating DC. So in any case, to make a full wave bridge rectifier, you take two of these diodes, cross them with their silver stripes touching, just like that. As you see, both the stripes are touching, just twisted the wires together. Now take two more diodes and twist them together with the plain ends touching, as you see. These have both of the silver stripes on the top. So now, taking these two diodes, we're going to connect them to these two diodes. So now we just take these two diodes and twist them together I'm doing this looking through the camera so it's difficult and then go over and twist this side together And there you have a full wave bridge rectifier. So you will attach AC to these two wires. This will be DC negative. This will be DC positive. Really, really simple. And you can see how small this thing is. And it's smaller than a postage stamp. And remember, this is uh, 50 volts at one amp. So you're not going to pull one amp through uh, one of those... Uh, can motors. Anyway, I just wanted to do a, a quick video on a really simple way to make a full wave bridge rectifier out of single diodes. You know, the total cost is 40 cents and it is tiny. You can fit this inside anything. So again, AC goes here, negative DC, positive DC. Really, really simple, easy, quick way to make a full wave bridge rectifier out of single diodes. So total cost 40 cents. It works. It works really really well. It's simple. Uh, no problem with them. Solder your connections and you can hide this inside virtually any locomotive shell. It is really really small. Anyway I just wanted to do a quick video on a really simple way to make a full wave bridge rectifier out of single diodes. Total cost 40 cents. So as always if you have any questions feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.